Montolio. Hey everybody, Sandy here, aka Montolio, and we are back for another Vintage League. This is round four with Jun Hogak Fine. Uh, we lost a die. We've lost every single die roll in this league. I won't want to look at this though. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll try it. Prayer name. I mean, you're never happy to keep these type of hands, but if they find the bazaar, it's great. Find the Hogak, it opens things up. Or that. This could get flustered. Oh, just, all right, F6 there. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Sometimes you just find it off the top, right? Believe you me, folks watching this at home, it does not always work out like this. Now, this is probably combo we're playing against here, so there's no guarantees we're going to get away with this, but it is a lot of pressure coming in. We can kill them. They don't do anything. Demonic Tutor, okay. Hopefully it's just an Ancestral. Black Lotus is a lot scarier. Tinker. Uh-oh. Hopefully they don't have main deck, uh, main deck Sphinx and they just brick off the top. They played their land already. Yeah, we just killed them here. I mean, there's no reason not to try and get the vine in, right? Right, that's 4, 8, 12, 15, 16. Yeah. All right, nice win. Nice win. So, it's a tanker deck. I don't know if I want ley lines here or not. I, I didn't see the breach portion of the combo there, so I'm, I'm not as apt to do that. Maybe it's just worth having a couple loose in here, to be honest with you. Like even, you know, we, I, I don't talk about it a lot, but even if we are playing against Breach, there is a world where Deathrite Shaman can be relevant in those matchups. Like how nice if we would be if we hit the bazaar off that, but we can't keep this. Not a very good looking hand. Okay, it's a weird brainstorm. We're just going for it here. Well, I think I just likely just played Virgin Catacombs Pass. Playing a little bit more of a controlling game this game.
I think I'm going to pyroblast this, guys. And the reason I am is because I, I want to tap out next turn for my oof. So I think I'm going to get a taiga. And I'm probably just okay doing this. And if they force this, I mean, I, that's fine. Hmm, of course, right? So a bit of a risk. I didn't f feel like they had a force, but they maybe just decided not to fight over the time walk as possible. Now we're vulnerable to bolt here, but that's the world we're living in. This gets us some pressure going in addition to the mana crypt here. Next turn will bazaar, and hopefully we can clean up our, our mess with a, a force of vigor and a wasteland or something like that. Okay, they missed a land drop, guys. One top, one bottom. What does that mean? I wonder why. All right, let's... I mean, maybe we... Waste first. Yeah, I like that. They just didn't even float a mana. Okay. Get in for two, and here's our big play. I mean, we 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 get stifled pretty badly by uh, Tabernacle, but I mean, you can't have it all, right? Mana Crypt is really dealing some damage here. I mean, they're dead next turn if they don't have Tab. Oh wow. Should have spun my, my bazaar there, but didn't. My daughter came and distracted me. All right, I feel like this is getting through here, guys. All right, nice match win. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe button, leave comments. We'll get back to you. Round five.